Back in December, I did a video about the .NET Nuke event log, a commonly overlooked feature in .NET Nuke that can cause your database size to grow for no apparent reason, but also has very valuable information about things that are going wrong in your .NET Nuke install. Today, we're going to look at another commonly overlooked feature of .NET Nuke, and once again, this feature is not only one that can chew up a lot of space if you don't know about it, it can also save your butt, or at least save you a considerable amount of time. I'm talking about the recycle bin. Now, I'm already logged in here and looking at a page. Let me just show you where this recycle bin is right now. It's hanging off of uh, the admin menu option and then recycle bin. And we choose that, and it's going to take us uh, right into this page here where we have uh, a list of pages and a list of modules and then the page that we want to restore, uh, the page of the module to. And if you restore it to a page to another page, it makes it uh, a child of that page. So let's go back. I have a, a page I've already set up here, a new page, that has a couple modules on it. And I'm going to delete this sidebar module. So the sidebar module is gone. We'll go back over here to the recycle bin. And you'll see our sidebar one module is listed as part of the modules. Now we can restore it to home page or whatever. We're going to restore it back to the page that we just deleted it from. Hit the uh, restore button up here. Hit this restore button here. And that places it back on new page. And then we can put it back on the, uh, the right pane where we had it. So move right pane. Now you can do the same thing if you delete the page. We're just going to go here and hit this delete button here. And yes, we want to delete the whole page. The page is gone. It's not under home anymore. We'll go over here to our recycle bin. And there's the page right there. And we're going to restore it to be a child of home. And there's our page back. Now the only issue with this, remember I said we could, uh, it could eat up a lot of space here. The problem is, is this does not work like um, the Windows recycle bin in that it's not going to automatically delete these for you uh, as you run out of space. So what you need to do is periodically you need to come in here and delete uh, individual pages or modules, or you can just come in here and hit the uh, empty recycle bin link here, and that'll delete everything from the recycle bin and, and get you quite a bit of space back, uh, particularly if you've done a lot of editing where you've added uh, pages and deleted pages, added modules, deleted modules, and done a lot of editing in your system.